Right. Um, what we're going to look at here is one of the consequences and bits of information that you can get from using the scalar product. So the scalar product uh, from the previous video was written as a dot b is equal to mod a mod b cos theta. Okay, so this is the scalar product. Um, it can be written also as cos theta is equal to mod a mod b, uh, sorry, a dot b over mod a mod b. Okay, depending on how you want to use it um, and how you want to remember it. Obviously, this is just a rearrangement of the uh, first equation. So, a consequence of it. Well, what we could look at, okay, is that if you look at um, two vectors, okay, um, and let's say uh, we have a vector that is. Um, just working in the x, z plane, okay? So let's say it's 3, 0, 4, for example, okay? So there is no y component. It, it's as if, if x, z was the axes on the floor, it is just a vector that travels along the floor and doesn't go up or down. And then I look at another vector, and let's say... Um, it just goes upwards, okay, so it's 0, uh, let's say 5, 0, okay, and let's call this A and this B, then what's going to happen is that if I do A dotted with B, this is 3, 0, 4, dotted with 0, 5, 0, so I'll write it down here, 3 times 0 plus 0 times 5 plus 4 times 0, which lo and behold is 0. Okay, so the dot product is 0, which would mean that 0 is equal to mod A, uh, which is, well, actually, I best do those first, don't I? Mod A is 3 squared plus 0 squared plus 4 squared. So that's 9 plus 16, so that's 25 square root of, so that's 5. And then mod B is equal to uh, 0 squared plus 5 squared plus 0 squared square rooted, which is also just 5. So I get 0 is equal to 5 times 5 times cos theta. So that must mean that cos theta is 0. Now if you think of where is cos theta 0, then you're looking at here and here, here as well, but the key idea is here and that's at 90 degrees, okay? So, sorry, my phone has just gone off, mid-talking. Brilliant, let's turn that off. Um, so it crosses at 90 degrees, so it is zero at 90. So that must mean that the angle between the two vectors is 90 degrees, which if I've drawn them like I have here, okay, I have one just going along the floor and one going vertically upwards, so yes, the two vectors are going to meet at right angles. Okay, so they are going to be perpendicular. So this is a consequence from the scalar product so that we can say, in general, if a dot b is equal to zero, okay, so if you do the scalar product and you get zero, then A and B are perpendicular. So they meet at right angles. 
and we will be using this fact later on when we look at the foot of the perpendicular, the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular, look at the shortest distance from a point to a line. Okay, But this is a key idea uh, really you should have in your toolkit.